hey, um, I couldn't find anything online or YouTube or my, you know, limited search skills, I guess, for an RCBS competition powder feeder with the micrometer. Um, it comes with directions that say about dropping it through the hopper and dropping the metering screw through a bunch of things and like I, I I did them steps and none of that made any sense it just seems a little ridiculous but I figured this here is what makes perfect sense to me so when you get this 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 feeder you know it comes in pieces so you have to put the this whole assembly inside the thing only one side of it's threaded the other side is smooth that's where the powder goes in this is where the micrometer screws in here's the micrometer now you have to disassemble the micrometer take uh i have limited space for this camera to fit you just okay there's a uh there's a set screw right there in front of my thumb it's set in there pretty good when you buy this so crack or loose you can see that uh the marring on this I don't think that'll focus. Probably not. Whatever. I don't, I don't, what, there's a mark there. You can tell where this thing was really jammed down. I mean, I had to crack that that set screw loose. But it, it, I loosened it up. You just back it out a little bit, and then this whole this thing just it's like this. Just slides right off. You're left with this. You also it comes with these shims. There's three of them. I just left all three on there. Uh, I mean, clearly you can do whatever you want. Uh, and then you have to line up. Hold on. Everything rotated on me. All right, so then we'll line that up. And then we're going to... It says in the instructions to go ahead and drop this metering screw down through the hopper. Grasp it back here. Do some other crazy things with it. And then thread it in. Just... Thread it into this. Just thread it into the body. I mean, wind it in. Whatever. It's it's captured. It's not going anywhere. I mean, you could lose those washers, I suppose. But, okay. Then there's that. And then just thread this in. Make sure you're centered. Um, make sure them washers actually uh, go into the recess on the, uh, on the, on the thing, on the drum. I mean, the outer one looks like it bends out a little bit. But, seated is seated. And that's definitely in there. So, I'm going to call that happy. And then uh, there's flats on the end here. Right here. Here. This. So, I'm going to tighten that up. I'm just going to snug it in there. There we go. That's reasonably snug. It seems reasonable to me. But them shims, I guess, set the index on this here so that it's in a position where you can look at it. I guess if you take some of them shims out, this index uh, line here will be a little higher because you're threading it in a little further. So if you're looking down at your feeder or if you need to look up, maybe, I don't know. Who cares at that point? There's, there's the index line. So then what you're going to do is... Um, this is this is in there um, you move the travel of the feeder to about halfway like that so that this screw is facing straight towards the back of this drum and then just twist it in till it touches it's touching the back of that now so which means it should be flush with this uh, 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 drum here up against the casing so nothing tight I'm just touching it there that's touching then take this piece your zero is there and there's a zero on here just slide it on I also use I put o-ring lube on here since I had it apart um, I use this stuff um, you know why not I have it apart so it'll just make things a little smoother I think and then just work this back on and then push your zero line all the way down and line it up with dead zero. I'm having a hard time with this. There we go. I think that's zero. 
So the zero index and that zero on the body index are lined up. I need better glasses. But either way, once you get that, that's, that's your zero index, then go ahead and tighten that set screw back down. And then uh, you should be ready to go to start uh, doing what you do. I just wanted to make that video because I couldn't figure it out and I'm probably dumb but this here's the instructions I know it's sideways you're not going to read this anyway I mean I'm reading this it's telling you to drop it through the through the hopper body and all this other stuff I'm like why I, I, none of this made sense but I don't want to mess anything up because I never I, I've always used a Lyman that was just had the slide uh, powder you know, they would, there was things that slid out of the way. I never had one of the micrometer ones, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can to make sure it's set properly. And uh, well, once I did all that, that kind of made sense. Um, so hopefully that helps anybody who may be, you know, going crazy trying to read this and driving themselves nuts. And I, I hope that helps somebody. All right, have a great day.